One day, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sent one of his companions, Al-Harith bin Umayr al-Azdi, with a letter to the king of Busra. Busra is in the south of Syria, near the Jordanian borders between, the, between Syria and Jordan. Now it is a part of Syria, near the borders with Jordan. So Rasulullah sent his companion Al-Harith bin Umayr to the king of Busra, to Syria. But on his way before he reached Busra in Jordan, Shurahbil bin Amr is a king there in Jordan. He kidnapped him and he killed him. Why to kill an envoy, a man who is carrying a message? A message, a peaceful message, a message of peace, a message of love, not even to you. A man who is traveling, there was no borders like today. Anyone can go anywhere. Was traveling, why you stop him and kill him? But because Rasulullah was, I mean, establishing the new government, as we call it now, the new country that is based on love, on harmony, on peace. And it was expanding. And those people who were living on evil, they don't like that. There are people who live on evil. If evil stops, you know, their business stops. That's why they resist any movement of good. Shurahbil bin Amr killed the envoy, the man who carries the message of Rasulullah, to send a strong message to Rasulullah. That means you, we don't want your message of love. We don't want your message of peace. Your message even will not pass through us. Not only we reject it, we will not allow it to pass through us. And was, that was so difficult to Rasulullah Sallallahu In Islam, Islam come to teach love and peace, through love and peace. But sometimes when evil comes, and those people who prefer evil to, to remain, they need something to bar them, to stop them from doing evil. So in Islam, we have to spread peace and love with peace and love. But also at the same time, we need to sacrifice ourselves, even if we lose our lives for the sake of spreading the message of love and peace, if need be, if need be. Islam doesn't ask us, go and kill. No. We spread the message of love. Islam come to free human being, to honor human being, to make them all equal. But when those people who prefer evil to remain, and it requires me to sacrifice even my life for the sake of my brothers and sisters in humanity, to, re to, make, to ensure that the message of Allah reach them, to free them, I have to sacrifice even my life. This is the teachings of Islam. And that's why Rasulullah prepared an army of 3,000 to be sent to this king, Shurahbil bin Amr, to tell him, if you don't want the message of peace, if you don't want to allow the message of love to pass to others, you know, we have, we have power to deter you from that. And for example, if, you, if we are paving a road for millions of cars to pass on, and then a big rock come your way, should you stop the road for, I mean, that you say, let the rock be there. We pity the road, uh, the, the rock. We don't want to remove it. Or we just remove the rock for the sake of millions of cars to, to travel on that road. Now, Shurahbil bin Amr he is like that rock. He stops in the road of love and, and mercy and honor and dignity. The message of Allah come to honor and dignify human beings. But he stops. Rasulullah did not even send to him. He come and stop there. So he should be removed. And that's why Rasulullah prepared an army for him. In, in the battle of Badr, 
Rasulullah did not go and fight. The people of Mecca came from Mecca to Medina. In the battle of Uhud, Uhud the second year, they also came back to take revenge for their loss in Badr. In the battle of Al-Khandaq, also they came from Mecca to Medina. Now, in the battle of Mu'tah, Shurahbir bin Amr was the one who killed the envoy of Rasulullah and gave him a strong message. We don't want your message, even if it is love, peace, mercy, dignity, honor, the message of Allah. We don't want it. We are not going to allow it to go. And Rasulullah has to spread the message of Allah. So Rasulullah wanted to teach them a lesson. If you don't want to allow peace, we have a power to guard the, the message of peace, to ensure that the spread of the message of peace is there, to deter those people who refuse the message of peace.